Hey everyone, welcome to I Just Watched. It's your boy Joseph, and we're here to talk MCU's Eternals. I thought this movie was pretty good. Like, I enjoyed it. I don't think it's great. I put this one on par with, like, Shang-Chi, where it's a good movie, it's enjoyable. I like the things it sets up. I like the introduction of the internals. Also, that being said, there's things I dislike, like the fact that, retcon the fact that Thanos is a deviant. He's involved quite a bit in their storytelling. So the fact that they were just like, no, we didn't do it, because they're like, we only act if deviants show up. I'm like, that is a motherfucking deviant right there. All right, and y'all just watched. Celestial was like, nah camaraderie because they're like basically brothers and sisters and like the way they function around each other in a sense was cool their dynamic it also raises the question like let me uh spoiler warning if you haven't seen it, it's on disney plus it's been on there it's on you i'm interested to see him become the black knight i'm talking about kit harrington I'm really jumping to the end credit scene where you hear uh, marshall ali as blade go you know what that sword boy <laughs> you know what that does my boy but it was cool because like in their their ship they have excalibur black blade the ebony blade the, the yin to the yang and the yang to the yin when it comes to Excalibur and it kind of drives you crazy it corrupt interested to see that and him become the Black Knight but at the same time that means Black Knight Blade are gonna be doing some vampire killing I'm game for that Celestials actually seeing him was cool like when he shows up at earth I was like damn like I knew they was big but damn kill one on earth so the reason I said it feels kind of scattered is because like they kill one on earth and you see it like kind of sticking out in the ocean but it's dead now like no one's gonna mention that in these other movies we're just gonna pretend like that didn't happen also like really out of all the villains you just turned icarus into a villain i didn't like that either because he's a powerful character he's one of your supermen and all you did was for one you referenced the fact that he's like superman and then you just turned him into a monster and yeet his ass into the sun there's other villains out there that exist that you could utilize here instead of the consistent making a good guy a villain that's all they've been doing lately and i'm over that shit wanda became a monster icarus was a monster just make that person a bad guy that's 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 interesting right like no it's lazy there's actual cool villains that exist in the marvel comics that you could bring to life and they would be great on screen versus characters like this uh, so i think that's why I'm, I'm i'm peeved because i'm like bro you're just wasting opportunities to bring to life actual crazy villains that could work and should work and would be dope as fuck to see. Um, so I'm just peeved at that, so I apologize. But like, overall, I like this. Uh, I like the, the way the, they kind of set into things. And apparently the rumor, it seems to be that Namor and Mexico City sunk. But like, Druig was there, but like, apparently his, the people he was in charge. I don't know. We'll have to see where the fuck that goes. But like, it's supposed to tie into this. I feel like Eternals as a movie, a lot of people don't like. But I feel like it's one of those movies where, uh, Thor Dark World, where later on you realize how important it was to the grand picture. I feel like it might be one of those. Again, just to reiterate, that's why I'm waiting on that movie to kind of tie in some shit. It's going to happen. I, he said no more Avenger movies. They might not be title Avenger movies, but... They're going to be Avenger movies or team up movies, you know, and that's going to start tying things together. And that's when we're going to have those moments of ah, ha, ha, ha. that being said, I thought this movie's OK. Like I said, out of the current roster of MCU movies, it's between this and, and Shang-Chi for me for like which one I like more. But it's not really because they're so good. It's because there's nothing for me to be like, holy shit, this is the one. Uh, I want to hear your thoughts. What do you think of this movie? What do you think of the MCU? Where it's at? Where do you think it should go? Where do you think it is going? Down below, comments, questions, concerns, requests. Love hearing from you. But until next time, stay safe. Be well. Adios.